Okay, so people need a lot of help with sex, I think, a lot, a lot of help because, you know, like, I don't know what it's like now, I don't know how parents are giving information, I think information nowadays for kids is probably a lot, a lot easier, it's, it's been passed on, but when I was a kid, I, um, at age of nine, my father, I had really no idea about reproduction. So my father decided now was the time to tell me, uh, explain it all to me. So he made it, he came in, I was in bed and asleep, uh, or going to sleep and, or just resting, probably reading. I used to do a lot of reading in those days. Still do, oh, a little bit. But anyway, he comes in and he, he, maybe he was about 40, I guess. Yeah, and he basically described it, sex, in such a mechanical way that it was scary. It was, you put what in what, you get to be kidding me. I'm never doing that. No freaking way. And I was already aware of sexuality then very much so but that put me off that was like well God. I mean it took me years till at least I was 12 before I realized that probably he was wrong that he this lesson was was poor it was a poor quality lesson there was no no information about you know or play or you know wooing somebody seducing somebody whole love thing although my parents didn't have a lot of affection for each other back then they loved each other and there was there was um, love taught in like a thousand other ways but um, and there was a lot of general affection in my family there was a lot of hugging going on there was a lot of love given and you know, it was the real meaning of love, I think, came through. So you kind of put the mechanistic and the real together. And it's a good combo. But it took me a long, long time to um, comprehend how amazing it all was. And um, I don't think the, the lesson at the age of nine was the reason I was a virgin until I was 24. That was more that I was a freaking nerd and had no idea what I was doing. And also I was kind of super conservative. Grew up in a very conservative way, you know, we were quite religious, Catholic, um, and everything was by the book. I was the first child and I was just trying to be good, you know, but trying to follow my Catholic principles. And it was all going to be about love, which is actually a really freaking good um, thing. But yeah, I think in retrospect, you need to experiment a bit and have a bit of fun and learn who you're sexually compatible with and um, figure it all out, you know, before you commit to one relationship, I think. But um, yeah, it's. Um, it's an interesting start to my sexual learning journey, but it's been an interesting journey. Yeah, it's been cool.